Well, hello, welcome again to RV box truck to RV conversion project. Today is Friday, March 24th. And let's see what kind of progress we've made here during the week. Not a whole lot. Uh, my water tank is here. It's a 15 gallon tank. And I'm starting to figure out how I'm going to set up this uh, pump. And you can see I've got some fittings. The plan is to use this boiler drain as a fill on the top and there's another boiler drain down on the bottom that I'm going to use as a drain and then the center larger outlet is going to go up to the water pump then from the water pump we're going to run a PEX line over here underneath the kitchen cabinet and uh, up to the kitchen sink and what else can I tell you I got a piece of plywood on down here to cover up the insulation we put in and most important of all hey check this out we got a window it's a four foot by four foot window and it was fitted in fairly fairly carefully it's got a nailing flange that I had to kind of set back so the window actually went in from the front from the inside of the van here and then I put uh, the studs in afterwards and the studs are only they're ripped down to about two and a quarter inch I think and then the nailing flange shows up from the outside. Come on outside, I'll show you what we're talking about here. So you can see the nailing flange is back a little bit here. And I've got a thin strip of wood. Now you can see here how these were ripped down first and I've got a small piece on here that covers up the nailing flange so I have to put a piece of flashing in here and as you can see I used a can of spray foam to fill up the cracks and I put a little bit of uh, silicon sealer in there uh, just to kind of fill the void and I still need to come back with a final coat of silicon sealer to seal it up button it up good I painted the bottom of these doors black just to uh, dress it up a little bit. The top part is going to be covered up with a piece of aluminum that we're going to put a picture on so that when these doors are closed and you're looking out the window from the inside, you see something. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet, but you'll see something. So, got the window in. That's kind of a little bit of exciting progress. Uh, down below is the storage area and one of my next tasks here is to cover up this and to make some kind of a door for down below. Last week uh, I cut these shelves down, cut them into two. If you remember they were 12 foot long, I had three of them left over and I cut them down to 8 foot and you can see the 4 foot sections are leaning up against the side of the garage over there. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to use the aluminum to make a panel for this space and a door for down below. I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to weather seal this. I want it so that if these doors are open and you get a rain that this is all weather sealed from the outside. Because maybe, uh, maybe it's a rainy night and we want the doors open so that we can see out. Uh, and I want it to be watertight. So that's about all the progress for now, oh, I would, did want to show you one other thing. I replaced these cables. Uh, they were pretty frayed up and uh, spliced. And some of the splices weren't going to fit behind my panel that's going to go up here. So I've replaced them. And you can see the bolts down here. I've only got one bolt holding this in right now. But the bolts were pretty rusty. So I ordered some stainless steel carriage bolts. Uh, one and a quarter inch and one and a half inch. There's a little bit longer one that's used on the bottom, I guess. You can see it looks like somebody screwed up here and put some bolts in in the wrong place. Not quite sure what the story is there, but uh, but it is what it is, and I'm going to replace those bolts. Same thing over here. You know, I took this hardware off and cleaned it up good. I put these turnbuckles on so that I can adjust. I got to put that where it belongs but uh, put the turnbuckles on so I can adjust the tension on here and uh, still have to feed that through there and I'm going to replace the bolts on the top as well so we have four bolts up there four down here 
four and four. And, uh, well, I guess while we're at it back here, I don't know if you saw the light I put up above, and I've got a backup camera that I mounted up there as well. Before we get things all buttoned up, I want to make sure I've got the wires in for that. The light is just kind of a yard light, and as I think you know, we put a similar yard light up over this door. Uh, I'm going to have those two lights, and then a main, I call it a house light in here. I'm going to reuse one of the original lights that was in the back here. And I'm going to put a three gang toggle switch panel here to turn on those two yard lights and the house light. So they'll be kind of, a, I'll call them utility lights. There's going to be no dimmers on them or anything like that. They're, that's, uh, that's for some of the other lights. So that's about it for right now.